signed with Black Academy? Um, five years. You signed five years, and yeah. how many years did you do? Um, two and a half. You did two and a half years. Yeah. Why didn't you wait for the completion of the contract? Yeah, because I, as I told you already, mm -hmm. I just felt like if there's going to be like a bit of delay and, mm -hmm. you know, like there's no time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in Ghana, time of the way for me. Mm -hmm. So I just felt like, Charlie, let me just try and do my thing. And mm -hmm. Some of the artists, you were like, they, them too, they want to do their thing. So I was like, okay, cool. So I texted Black on my own. Everybody did from their own. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they said their own. Mm -hmm. Now, be before you were signed, yeah. how many people were there? Or you, you thought you were going to be signed alone onto the label? No. Um, okay. Before it was me, mm -hmm. like he signed me first. Oh, you were the first artist he signed? Yeah. See. Then after um, Singlet. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know him. Singlet. Yeah, Singlet, the producer. Like, and Wiser. Uh -huh. But. Um, I don't know what happened to Singlet, but he was like, he couldn't join again. Mm -hmm. So it was left with me and Wysa. Mm -hmm. And later, uh, I think Kobla or Sefa came. Mm -hmm. And Sefa came after. Mm -hmm. that was, that was, that was, that was and later, a couple months later, I think he brought uh, Osayo. Mm -hmm. Then he brought Nina Ricci. Mm -hmm. Then he brought um, Ronnie. Ronnie's everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. He brought Ronnie's everywhere. And I, I mean, I mean, um, Ronnie turned me up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I always get confused. I know. Ronnie, Ronnie turned me up. Yeah. Okay. So you guys were having seven. Yeah, seven. Mm -hmm. Before he brings on any artist, uh, was he having discussions with you as the first artist he signed? Oh no, 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 no. Come on. Like, what? Like, so before you know, we are signing a new artist. Yeah, he just puts in a group that oh, like I'm bringing this guy. I'm bringing this guy. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. I see. I know that when artists sign such contract record labels, yeah. they get something, maybe a car, a house, some amount of okay. money. How much did Darling Gage get from the oh, Black Avenue? No, I don't know if you talk down there. Yeah, no, but were you giving money at all? No, no, I wasn't giving money. Were you giving a car? No. So what was in it for you before you signed? What did you sign to? Okay, like you see, as a like upcoming artist, mm -hmm. and like you're really you got to. Like do what you want to do with the music. To me, when I like you, I like you. Understand? Like me, I'm not ungrateful. Mm -hmm. And some people will be like, Charlie, hey, what's up with my welfare or whatever? What's up with this? What's about me? It's about the music. Like I wanna take my music to the next level. I'm not thinking about you not giving me mm -hmm. whatever. If like Sammy, like of course. If you want to sign me, mm -hmm. and you promise you want to push my music to the next level, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm okay. Because I believe when we both work, mm -hmm. up and the music crosses everywhere, mm -hmm. you're, like, you're going to be getting like a lot of stuff mm -hmm. more than what's in the label. Do you understand? So me, when I'm with you, Sammy, and you're like, Charlie Gage, no, dude, I, I believe in whatever you say to me. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, like, I don't really care about the money or car or what people mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. that in but, but what was stated in your contract? Maybe was it stated in your contract that within 10 years you're going to shoot 10 videos for you, an album, two albums? What was stated okay, in Okay, like the contract, I don't really want to talk about it. I know, I know. But what but were you promised? As in, like, yeah, like shooting the videos, like mm -hmm. putting it out there, mm -hmm. like, you know? Like Making as, you a star. Yeah. As you want to be. So. so within the two and a half years that you were at Black Avenue Music, yeah. how many videos did you get? Um, two. You got two videos. Yes. And the other one with um, Breezy, that's Kimbo's. Uh -huh. I mean Kimbo's. Uh -huh. So it's like two and a half. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that means that every year you got one. Yes. Uh, if you are doing the calculation for the years you yeah. spent there, yeah. every year you got one video. Yeah. And um, the one with uh, DJ Breezy, that is a characteristic. Yeah. That it. was um, DJ Breezy featuring me and Medica. Oh, but okay. I did everything. You did everything. Yeah, that's why I said two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, two and a half years, two and a half videos. <laughs> Oh really? I'm sh I'm shocked that you guys never got any monetary or any substance like cars because I thought it did like uh, gave you guys enough. You know? 
There's no car, so. There wasn't any car? No. And uh, you guys were promised some warfare money. Did you get that one too? Um, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> no, no, did you Why get it? No, maybe you, you got it, I didn't get it. Okay, we got it. We got it. I'm not I'm not I'm not disturbing you. Oh no no I want I want us to have a conversation. Would you sign on to a new label after your two and a half years experience at Black Avenue Music or you are done with labels you want to be in the know I'm human so like if anybody feels like they want to work and the contract is good. Besides, like, <coughs> and the first contract you signed was good. Last yeah, day. but I mean, like now, that's what I'm saying. You, you see, when you're young, mm -hmm. you grow all the time. Mm -hmm. you understand? Like, mm -hmm. it was Black Avenue music that rocks me in the industry. Mm -hmm. And you know, the industry, like, when you're not inside, you think it's just industry. But when you're inside, mm -hmm. you would know the rules. You would know you how understand to understand how it works. Hand, you understand? Because. Mm -hmm. Sometimes these days I can be sitting with maybe like musician friends mm -hmm. that are not in a label or are not being recognized in the industry. And sometimes, sorry to say, like they say some childish things and I watch them like, okay, I, mean, I used to be like that. So, you understand? <laughs> like, some of them will go on like radio mm -hmm. and just say bang, 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 bang. But when you're smart, when you're mature, there's some things you, you just have to. Mm -hmm. And are you saying you got all this knowledge from uh, being uh, an artist at Black Avenue Music? Okay, um, you see, Black is very smart. Like, he's really smart. So I hear. Thinks very so quickly. I hear. Mm -hmm. And I love him for that because mm -hmm. when you're with him, he wouldn't tell you that, yo, I did do this also, watch me. No, you have to be smart. And me, even though I come from a, a cool home, mm -hmm. but I mean, I be hustler, like, I day street all the time. So mm -hmm. when he moves, I move with him and I learn some one or two things, the way he like talk to people, the way he relates with other artists and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're with your boss, mm -hmm. it's like you being with your dad. Mm -hmm. You can't be with him forever. So mm -hmm. you have to learn some one or two things that mm -hmm. would be good for you in the future. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like I learned like a couple things from him and mm -hmm. I'm proud of it. So, mm -hmm. so uh, now the songs you've released and yeah. at which label did you release them? Okay. Yeah, especially um, the Sweet Accra. Um, really sweet after I dropped her, man. Not under any label. Indie no. label. And you've, you've not started your label as an as an independent artist no, no, yet. No, 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 yet. Would you do that? Um, yeah, maybe later. But now I'm just trying to build myself up and you know be on my own for now. Mm -hmm. and just build some strong. Mm. Did you make money for the label, the Black Avenue? Did you make money for them? As in, did you get shows that were paying that the label okay. also get something for um, you? You see that my song, The Potato Song? Uh -huh. Yeah, um, I dropped it. And you see, like, um, most of, you see, because of my, like, my songs are mostly, like, danceable songs. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and you know, UK is more, like, dance, like, they love Afrobeat and stuff. Mm -hmm. So when I dropped it, it was really doing well there. And mm -hmm. I think there was this label, um, this company called ASOS Company, or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's really big in the UK. Okay. And they emailed back that mm -hmm. they wanted to use the like, song from like online advert. Okay. Mm -hmm. They pay like um, two thousand pounds. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that, that you think that was the biggest money you got for the label? That the two thousand pounds you got from UK? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. Did you get any travel experience, maybe international shows? Um no, but we went to South Africa for building up links and we had to shoot a couple videos but we went to South Africa to shoot videos. Yeah, but the director was acting a bit funny, so just uh, you, you, you guys couldn't shoot. Yeah. What a South African director? Um no 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 it's a Ghanaian but um, mm -hmm. I think he grew up there. Oh okay. Yeah. Now Danny Gage, you can tell us this because being under the label for two and a half years, yeah. there were stories that you guys quit the label because DJ Black uh, sorry, D Black yeah. was using you guys as salespeople at his oh, no, bar. The the <laughs> no, <laughs> the club at the was nice a, club. No, no, the club was that it was me that was mostly there because me. I like you were chilling. selling. Were selling no, 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 not selling. Like chilling, but most of the artists never used to come. Mm. They were mostly on those. If you come there, it will be me and Black. Mm. 
So it wasn't true that no, you no, guys no, were no, used no, as no, how? Uh, some. <laughs> <laughs> because no, I heard no. the blacks artists were waiters at the Onyx Night. Oh, no, 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 no. I saw the tweets, but it's, you know. It's both of them, so I'll be arguing with you. Everybody will talk about it now. So. I see. Yeah. And I hear you and Shatawale had a song B and something happened. What happened? You know. No, like he just hasn't dropped the song yet. But we recorded it last year. Uh -huh. And we had to meet him mm -hmm. to get the song. But mm -hmm. we couldn't meet him. Like he said it was someone or something like that. Mm -hmm. So since is, then, is the song under Black Avenue music or your song? It's my song because I went there. Well, was, was it at the time that you were in the Black <coughs> Avenue? Yes, yes. So the song becomes the yes, I guess. Okay, yeah, but like the move was for me. Abi Shata is my guy. Okay, I hear your, your uh, former record label is sitting on the song. Well, really? Uh, I don't know. If that's true, then cool. No problem. It's, you, it's would, no problem. You, you would forget the song? Oh, oh come on. Best song they would record all the time. Maybe mm -hmm. if Shata feels like he will listen. No, it's if, not Shata feeling like. Yeah, but you said. Uh -huh. That you heard. So yes, Peter, that your saying, record label. It is not it's shattered. sitting on the song. Yes. No, no, but no. now the, no, the, the song, song becomes their property. property. No, but the data is of shutter. <laughs> it's not with D Black. But it is their property. You were their artist when you went there. Maybe it was out of their influence, that is why Shatter. No, 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 no. I knew Shatter before. Like me and him used to vibe. But you never recorded before. with him when no. you knew him. No. You only got a chance to record it with him whilst you were with Black. But the Black thing is Black didn't know that I went to Shatter's place. He didn't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. At what point did he get to me? Oh, when we finished, and I posted a video mm -hmm. on IG, mm -hmm. and me and my manager dropped it in the group chat that mm -hmm. we went to Shatter's place. And, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. So he, um, I think my side of the video, like people were really like trending the video. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like he heard about it, that, oh, Charlie, I hear so you killed the song. Mm -hmm. So, um, Black wanted to shoot the video, so we wanted to go and take the data from Shatter. Mm -hmm. But we were texting him and he wasn't around at that time. Mm -hmm. And you know, Shatter to has got a lot of things to do. Mm -hmm. I know maybe he'll forget or something. So mm -hmm. we just like brushed it off for a bit. Mm -hmm. But we like I kept on texting him like, yo, Charlie, like, what's up with the song? And he was like, oh, Charlie, we'll drop on make it off here. So, mm -hmm. so you are still waiting for Shatter's readiness. Then after that, you can release the song, I guess. Yeah, but the data is with Shatter because I recorded it in his studio. Mm -hmm. So he has to uh, master it, make some master the song. Mm -hmm. But the song is yours? No, it's his and he featured me on oh, it. Oh, it's Shatter's yes. song and yours. yours. No, 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 no. Okay. So then he mm -hmm. determines the pace as yeah. to when he wants to release it. Yeah. And again, um, is it also true that D Black only lo liked the girls on the label than the boys? That's why oh. I have you guys. No, 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 Black, he loved everyone. Mm. And it's, it's your work that will, you know when you're in a label, they like, the person where you song, they move faster mm -hmm. or has an impact, mm -hmm. is going to get yeah, pushed more. Yeah, pushed more. So. Mm -hmm. Nina Richie, is she an artist, uh, a singer or a model? Uh, um, she's an artist. <laughs> Hey, my father, what do you want to say? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she's an artist. I mean, she's on the label, so she's an artist. So yeah. she has a song out yet? Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Was she a problem to the label when she came? Why did you have smiles and like your cheeks like that? Why? She didn't be throwing it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't want yeah. me to smile. You don't want me to smile. Oh no, you can't smile, but this smile, the handsome. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, but that's how I smile all okay, the time. Okay, okay, uh, okay. If you watch my videos it's a online, smile. It's a you know that oh, when Sammy Flex is doing his presentation, yeah. he smiles alongside. Yeah. Did you do any collaboration with Nina Richie? Um, no, I uh, actually didn't do. We didn't get time to feature ourselves. Mm -hmm. Just on the like mm -hmm. group song. Okay. What advice would you give to any artist who would be called to sign on to a label? What advice, based on your two and a half album, what advice would you give somebody? Oh, just be smart and be a man. How smart? Because it is, it is what has been written in black and white. That's yes, what you sign it um, But you know, maybe the paper will say something else. Mm -hmm. And when you get inside to you, mm -hmm. it will be different. So you just have to be a man because sometimes Artists, because they feel like they are scared to talk or scared to be like, oh, why didn't this thing happen? And you said this on the contract, you said this, but it's not happening. Mm. So you just have to 
you just have to be smart. Yeah. smart yeah. Read yeah. what is on the paper, yeah. but think beyond it. Beyond it yeah. See, how many girlfriends do you have? The bad one. <laughs> no, I, I've heard something, that's why I'm asking all these people. Yeah. I heard you are a Ladies serious man. Ah, yeah. really? <laughs> yes. Oh, come on. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not a woman anymore. That's what I'm asking. So, how many girlfriends do you have? Now? I don't have a girlfriend. I'm just married to my music. You don't have a girlfriend now? No. Not even a single one? Oh, no. Oh, language. Oh, Sammy. So Why then, disturb me? No, 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 disturbance. I'm talking about the guys who have been telling me, hey, when you go to the club and you see Darling Gate, come on, girls like, all over okay, her. Like, all over him, rather. Okay, you see mm-hmm. now, mm-hmm. it's like, music attracts girls. Mm-hmm. And it's not like they're coming because they want you. Maybe it's just they like your vibe. Mm-hmm. They like your music, so they just want to vibe with you. And I don't, in a club with girls playing, no, no. I'll just be going up and down with my drink, just enjoying stuff, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you just, you just said sometimes, ladies, they just love your vibe. And yeah, like, come. they'll come around your exactly. table and stuff. But and that's what a guy saw, and he had been seeing it in uh, in, in serious times, not this ah, one. Really? Yeah. Oh, then I'll be as a club, so club, yeah. We're just vibing. Just Which is your fav- favorite night club in Accra? Um, Onyx. Mm. And there's this new one called Tantra, H Tantra. Mm. Uh, yeah. it's, it's a way, also. Mm. Yeah. I hear you like to clap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chilling. Almost every weekend you are chilling. Oh, no, no, not almost like. <laughs> no, like you see, sometimes, uh-huh. yeah, tell me, me, tell me. Uh-huh. I like going to a club because uh-huh. yeah, I don't take alcohol. Oh, wow. Yeah. And. I go to club because I, I wouldn't have believed it if someone had told me. Yeah, and I don't smoke too. Yeah. You don't take alcohol, you don't smoke. Yeah. So what do you do? I just vibe. <laughs> you lick? <laughs> lick what? Ice cream? Or yeah, no, 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 no. I lick ice cream. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so as I'm saying, like I go to club because, like, you, you see, um, I um, when they play a song, like a hit song. Mm-hmm. And I like I see how the people react to the song. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, if you do something like this, like this tempo, and maybe I, like I've got this recorder on my phone. I'll just record it mm-hmm. and send it to any producer I want to work with. I'll tell you, listen to this vibe, like, or maybe I'll send you a video of how the people are vibing to the song. Mm-hmm. Then I get an idea of what the people want. Mm-hmm. Understand? So that's okay, why. So you go to the club to get inspiration for your song. Yeah. Some people smoke and just sleep and get ideas. Some mm-hmm. people too. Mm-hmm. Maybe they'll do what about it, but me, mine is that one. No, I'm yeah. shocked that you are telling me today you don't smoke, you don't yeah, drink. Yeah. Never, you haven't done that, never. Ever no, 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 no. When I was young, like I think like five, my auntie was taking this paper wine mm-hmm. and it tasted very nice. Don't grass here? Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. And like, she was like, ah, Obama is cool. I'm like, yeah, man. So she gave me and I tried it and it was nice. So. Mm-hmm. She didn't know. Like she was like, oh, she's going to the washroom. <laughs> and when she came, I drunk the whole thing. And I did. Like I was just going up and down. Like I didn't know what happened. So I still have that flashback. Um, so you know, I get scared that hey, like, when phone. I get drunk and I start acting crazy like that. No, 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 no. Yeah, well, so how I pray face with yeah. that time I have nothing Like you wouldn't be drinking anymore. <laughs> That's <laughs> a good feeling to do. Yeah. Yeah, That's a known fact out there. Everybody okay. thinks of um, it. Like it's like it's really good. Like yeah. 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 really good. But you see, Ghana, they like you know um, lyric stuff. They can vibe with because mm-hmm. there's a saying that like the streets pushes your music more, mm-hmm. and the streets, you know, like they wouldn't be able to understand some of. With the big big English, mm-hmm. you understand? So they'll be like, oh, we don't sound, but it's not. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? But if he was, but when he raps in um, Pigeon, like mm-hmm. people understand him. Okay. Do you understand? But when he came in the industry first, he came with that, you know, mm-hmm. like American mm-hmm. swag mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. before he dropped the Vera, and that's when they really accepted him. Oh, so mm-hmm. you think that it is because of his style of rap, that's why people are not understanding him? Um, I wouldn't say his style of rap, but it's just 
I don't know. They just, you know, Ghanaians, they, if they tag you, oh, wait, what's that? That's it. There's nothing you. Do <laughs> you understand? It's mm-hmm. not like his, his crap. Right? Mm-hmm. But do you understand? <laughs> yeah, do you understand? <laughs> yeah, like when they tag you. No, you know, oh. Sha. Anything they talk to you, Sha. So. Yeah, you understand? Oh, yeah, we are, Sha. But you've never seen her standing mm-hmm. with somebody. But because somebody said that, mm-hmm. they will be tagged like that yeah. forever. So I just feel like. Your sweet Accra song is a beautiful piece. Yeah, 